Hey guys, what's up? It's Cass. Um, I just wanted to basically make this quick video to kind of just go over how to use the Spice catalog real quick because if I try to type this out, um, I don't know, it'll just raise questions or I want to try to preemptively answer any questions you have. So basically, uh, this is what you do. Um, hang on, let me bring this up. Uh, you pull it up, this is the first page you see. And then you basically just follow the tabs on the bottom uh, down here. You're going to want to go to the start page first. And right here, oh, like I said, I only have the offense done so far. Um, I'll just go through a quick example and show you how it works. Basically, to start out with, all you do is you're going to enter some ratings. You can enter all of them or just you need at least three. And I'll tell you why that's important in a second. But for instance, let's go through, let's look for a uh, strong arm quarterback who can throw deep. So what I'm going to do is go throwing, throwing power. Um, I want to put a 90. You're not going to want to put the max rating you're looking for in here. You're just going to want to put your cutoff. So you're not going to want to just filter out everybody. You're going to want to put a cutoff so it brings in just a group of quarterbacks that you can uh, separate from there. And that's pretty much... That's pretty much the key to use this, is to understand that. You don't want to put the max rating in any of these spots. That's where you want to put pretty much your cutoff of what you uh, at least want. So like I said, we'll start with a 90 there. We'll just go down to deep accuracy. Uh, we'll say 84. Um, like I said, I need one more. So I'll just put mid at 75. Um, and then down here, you need to enter uh, just... This is where it will really filter out the quarterbacks and you need to just enter in the case of the letters aren't important but uh, the actual you have to type it exactly how it's displayed in the attribute box so basically once you hit that that should be all you have to do now you just click the next tab uh, for instance just click the tab that pertains to the position um, we just did so we just did quarterback and now that brings up this page and this is the quarterbacks filtered out now there's a couple steps you have to do just because of the limitations of Excel that uh, to make this easy to sort through. First thing you need to do, it's really simple, just click one, click that little drop down arrow and go down here and select blanks to take that off. And now it'll let you sort through here and you can just go through the rest of the columns. And as you can see, I, I switched the ratings up to put the more pertinent ones in front, for instance, we're starting with, um, we're evaluating the quarterback. So obviously, you know, people don't look at acceleration and stuff first. We look at throwing power, accuracy, then we want the extra speed. Um, and then the running characteristics like trucking and stuff is further down. So what we want to do is we have all the quarterbacks here that meet the three criteria you set. And that's, uh, that's really important that you set the criteria low enough to where it's not going to, eliminate so many choices, but high enough to where it filters out the garbage. So basically, we'll start, we want to separate uh, or sort by the deep accuracy. So you just, you know, if you use Excel before, you probably know how to do this. All you do is click the drop down arrow, and you want to click largest to smallest to make, uh, to sort it by the deep throwing accuracy. And then you do that, and you see, um, like Cam Newton right here, Oh man, my XQB has the highest 94 deep accuracy. And then once you do that, this is what it's all about. Because now, once you sort it by that, that characteristic you wanted, now you can go through and all the ratings are grouped together that you want. So now you can see, you know, throw on the run, play action. Um, you know, you don't have to scroll through all uh, right to left and keep looking back and forth. Um, you don't have to try to remember the ratings to go to compare the other quarterbacks. They're all right here. Um, same thing with any of the other ratings. Click, you know, play, you want the best play action passer. Same thing. Just click largest to smallest. And then there it is. Uh, that's the, um, basically to sum this up, it takes, we took the, let's see, these three attributes right here. All those quarterbacks you see right here, these I don't know, there's about 12, 14 quarterbacks right there. They are the only quarterbacks in the game that have 90 throwing power, 75, at least 75 medium accuracy, and at least 84 um, deep throwing accuracy. Um, 
let's see if there's anything else I want to go over with this. Um, also, if you go over, just for convenience, I grouped the tackles and the guards together. Um, I mean, I don't really see any reason why you need to separate them to uh, right and left. So I'm going to do the same thing with the defensive ends and the outside linebackers. I'm just going to put them all in one OLB group, DE group. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, and there's a ton of pages here that are hidden on the bottom, which are just like calculations and sorting, which you don't need to mess with. Um, I mean, once you download this, you can do whatever you want to it. And if you can improve it or you want to switch up the ratings, you can go back and look at what I did. Um, and then you can move ratings here and there. You can do whatever you want. Um, it's really uh, customizable. And that's, that's one reason I'm happy about it is because as we advance through the seasons or we make a new league, whatever, all I have to do is just go in and copy and paste the uh, ratings from the search players uh, screen in the league manager. And then that's all I have to do, and it'll just be automatic. Oh, that reminds me. There's one other thing I wanted to point out, and this is a league manager limitation. Um, uh, let's see. Let me bring up – I need to bring up an offensive line real quick to show you. So let's just go to tackle. And then as you can see, when you move through the positions, I switched up the attributes to what might be important. So let's say we want a, um, a run blocking uh, tackle. We'll put 90 strength, 90 run block – strength 90 run block footwork and you just go down there strength or yes okay so then we should be able to go to the tackle results page and then we got to do the same thing i'm sorry you have to do this but i don't like i can't think of a way to that i can't think of a way to uh make it so you can just click on the page and then everything's already all the blank rows are taken out but I think that's a small price to pay. It's just one extra click. But anyway, these are all the tackles that meet the 90, the 90 strength and footwork criteria. So now you can go back through here. Um, if you want to sort, like there's in, impact blocking. And like I said, I did the same thing. I put, um, oh, I didn't switch those. I'll switch those ratings to where I'll put the blocking closer to the name so you don't have to scroll all the way over to see the important ratings. Um, but anyway, the thing I want to point out is this, the pass block ratings, League Manager only puts this pass block number in, and both PBK and RBK, I'm pretty sure, are meaningless ratings, and I'm pretty sure I've read that they're, uh, quote, legacy ratings, which EA just leaves in there, because if they take it out, it'll damage the game, and they don't feel like writing new code for it. So unfortunately, you can't uh, sort by pass block strength and pass block footwork. But I hope you can get a good enough idea by looking at the rest of their attributes. So that's kind of a limitation. Other than that, it has all the ratings, and you can sort through any of them. And it has every player available in the game. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I hope you guys test this out. And let me know of any um, feedback, especially while since I haven't gone through and done the defense yet. If you can let me know of anything that you want changed uh, sooner rather than later, that would be cool. Um, yeah, other than that, just check it out. Let me know how you like it, and I hope you guys get some use out of it. Put some time into it. Still got more time to go. Uh, but I guess that's it. All right, guys, take it easy.